Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Ravi Ruparelia and today we are going to learn about entities in Dialogflow and how we can use it with our actions on Google. Entities are used to identify and extract useful data from user input. For example, user saying set a reminder for 12 pm tomorrow. 12 pm and tomorrow are important info that we need to set reminder. So in this case, 12 pm and tomorrow will become entities for our intent. Entities can be of three types, system entities, custom entities and session entities. What are system entities? Dialogflow provides some default entities which can be used to extract common data from user input like time, date, email, percentage, etc. These are called system entities. Here you can see some of the system entities which you can use directly. Now comes to custom entities or we can call it as developer entities also. As name suggests, it can be created by us with whatever information we want to extract from user input. For example, my action provides car or bike services. Entities can be bike repair, car repair, car wash, etc. Another example we can take about hospital, where we have multiple services like hair treatment, body checkup, skin treatment, etc. This all can be mentioned in custom entity to extract it when user speaks to our action. Third type is session entities. These are special entities which will be available based on user session. All session data or session entities will be stored by Dialogflow for 20 minutes of time. Let's take a look at an example to understand entities in better way. My action provides a facility to book an appointment with doctors for various treatments. So in this case, our entities will be Dr. XYZ, hair treatment, 10 am and tomorrow. Now what will be the type of these entities? Dr. XYZ will be our custom entity which can be named as at the right name. Hair treatment can be extracted by creating custom entity at the right service. For the time and date, we can use system entities which are sys.time and sys.date. Now let's see how we can define it in Dialogflow intent. I have already created basic intent with few training phrases and system entities. You can see here we have used at the red sys.date and at the red sys.time entities. If we will execute this within Dialogflow, it will extract date and time from user input. This is the benefit when you are working with Dialogflow. You can always test your intent directly from Dialogflow itself. No need to move to actions on Google Simulator all the time. Here you might have noticed that user is saying tomorrow and in response we are getting it as date object. Dialogflow system entities can identify dates by itself and can easily understand it from user input. We can get it in our response using dollar sign and variable name. Here you can see I am concating it with dollar time and dollar date. Now it is not always necessary that user gives us the time and date. But for this intent we need it. In order to solve this problem, entity provides a way to make it as required field. You can see little checkbox before entity name. From there we can make it as required field. Now we will give default prompt also when user doesn't provide this information. For date we will ask on which date. And same for time we will ask user at what time. Save it. Now let's test it. I'll just enter book and appointment. Here you can see it is asking for date 
so I'll enter 5th June. Now it will ask for time. We'll enter 3 pm. Here you can see it is giving response of all intent together with date and time. In order to use it with our database or API holes, we can modify date and time object according to our needs. Now let's create custom entity. In our case, we'll make it for different service we are providing at a clinic. Move to entities and create new entity. I will name it as service. Here we can add services that we will be providing and we wanted to extract it from user input. Let's go ahead with four values as of now. Save it. Move to intents and appointment intent. Now we will add more training phases which will include service name also. First, let me add book an appointment for hair treatment. We will select hair treatment from entered phrase and it will give you a pop-up window which will give you suggestion of entities. We will select service entity that we have created. We will make it as required field also. Let's give default prompt as for what purpose. Save it and try. Let's not add service name in user input. Here you can see now it is asking for appointment purpose also. Let me add skin treatment. Here we have response with date and time. Let's add it our response by adding service name also. We'll add dollar service to access it. Now I am adding user input with all details and you can see we have response saying everything extracted as we needed. It is not always necessary that user says exact phrase that we have added in entity. To resolve this, we can add different synonyms inside our entity values. Here I am adding inside general inquiry. It can be fever or cough. Let's test it. It is asking for purpose. Let me add cough. Here you can see I did not say general inquiry but it is taking synonyms from the same entity and giving me the type as general inquiry. Let's check it with Accents on Google Simulator now. From Integrations, select Google Assistant and Test. Let's invoke our action. Here's the test version of RRR Clinic. Hello, how can I help you? For what purpose? Appointment booked for hair treatment on the 2nd of May. So that's it for this tutorial. Do say your actions in comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.